Hello everyone, this is Arian, and I am back to play uh, Penumbra Overture. In fact, I just closed off the last episode a few seconds ago, but I'm not sure how soon I will upload this one after the other one. Uh-oh. Not a good start. Fortunately, these dogs are dumb. Ah, barrel. Exactly what I need. Well, that missed. And missed again. Some kind of reservoir, good. Reservoir, dogs. Ouch. Well, not a good start. Not at all, but, you know. We just, uh, we just got done making lots of progress, so... A few small mistakes, surely. Surely can't make all the difference. Right, so we've been to Lake Utaquak. Utaquak. So we need to go back to here. This area is rather large. Right, so this little closed off area is pretty much pointless. Good, right. So we've been to the lake and we've acquired the crowbar from there. Right here is section B. The door is jammed. There. That's my frustration vented. So, section B is a loss for now. Let's head to the chemical storage. Okay, I guess not. I don't even care about the chemical storage. I've already been to the lake. Let's see. Whoa. Gotta be careful not to destroy the chair I'm sitting in. Let's try the incinerator. Never know what we might find there. Can we actually go in? I need a tool. Well, would that would a crowbar? Yes. Yes, it will. I couldn't even finish my question before I did it. So that's useful. That's a vent. These are large chunks of rock or coal. Right, so red is uh, behind that. Oh, we're back here. I think I remember this. Oh no, I don't remember. I don't remember at all. It reminds me of the first time we encountered the large worm, but it's not the same. Just gonna check what's over here, though. There will probably be useful tools, maybe. Potion mixer, right. Okay. Many painkillers. A fuse, 
Right, so we're going to engage in some more bomb making, clearly. Like a real revolutionary. Making some explosives. Well, clearly this room is more or less the final destination. It was, in fact, my final destination. Me? Oh my. Right, 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 I should just... So I need to make a, a new explosive. I'll check the bomber's uh, notebook. <laughs> I'll check the bomb instructions uh, in a little bit. Bomber's notebook. That's a little in-joke there. Whoops. Explosives, please. <clears throat> well, I'll just find some of those chemicals and then get to work on actually using the instructions. Because right now I'm not sure what kind of an explosive they want from me. I'm going to assume it'll just be dynamite, but... Yeah, I don't have any dynamite left, so it's probably that. But maybe it'll be one of the other ones. It doesn't make much of a difference. Either way, we'll be looking for the ingredients. Let's see, so we're at the incinerator. There's another way into section B, possibly, which you can check out here. Because the other door was shut. It will never open again. I guess not then. So section B is a total loss. Which means we need to try another door into the chemical storage since we've already been to the lake. We're being systematic about this. Chemical storage. Whoops, missed a turn there. Did I? Yeah, I did. Right, so we're not getting in from there. But there's another door. It's the main thing. Right, so the other door to the chemical storage works just fine. Good, because we need uh, we need some chemicals to make some bombs. What is this? Oh well, I'm not gonna seal the door now. expecting me to seal this door though right I don't, I'm not sure if you can actually escape the worm monster but running at it also doesn't work that is a bit of a shame also, I gotta remember to keep my distance from the camera. Uh, from the camera? Right. I gotta keep my distance from the, uh, the microphone. Please stop interrupting me with that cutscene. 
I gotta keep my distance from the microphone because you don't want to hear me breathe and spit into the microphone all day. It would definitely not be preferable. Did I just kill myself using the poison? This is gonna get tedious fast, isn't it? And we were doing so well last episode. I got eaten. Uh oh. Can I just hide here? Nope. There's something I'm missing here, apparently. Oh. Really? I'm kind of disappointed in myself, honestly. I just missed a huge obvious button. Crowbar would be perfect for this, but fine if you want to use the pickaxe. Yep, there's still a time limit, even though it's decreased somewhat. I can hear all the Penumbra experts cringing. I don't know, are there even any Penumbra experts? I assume so. It's not quite the pop culture icon some other games are, but it's still popular. Yeah, please do that one. Please do that one, yeah. Yes. Don't do don't do the pokey one, do they? <sighs> Me oh my. But we're making baby steps of progress again. Um, we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. I know we need to do that a lot when I play games, but you know, you know how it is. It's uh. I'm running out of interesting things to say about being chased by a giant worm. Which sounds impossible because that's quite the situation, but you know. It's an Alaskan bullworm. Or whatever that thing in SpongeBob was. Right, I just gotta do the the, the mouse motion properly. Come on! Hmm. <clears throat> oh, can I shut that door too? I can! I should have figured that one out. I just keep making this harder for myself than it actually has to be.
please work with me. Well then. That did indeed take too long. Don't do that one, do that one, yeah. Swing that pickaxe. I finally figured out like a proper a proper rhythm to it and then I just got killed again. I gotta say the physics based interactions aren't always great. No, that sounds like I'm blaming the game for my own incompetence. And I totally am. That was bad. So it goes counterclockwise and it goes like, please, it goes like this. Can you hear me moving the mouse around furiously and still getting killed? Jeez Louise, as they say. I've been at this for several minutes now. This is the most riveting episode. It's not paused when I when you go to the inventory screen the game's not actually paused so I need to be faster about selecting the proper items and making the proper motions there. Let's see, um, we've been at this for like 18 minutes. Oh, well, I walked in the wrong direction. I'm just gonna keep trying though. it and actually hit it. Right, so. Why is it not working? Is there something I'm doing wrong about in that scene? I just... I'm starting to get a rhythm down for a little bit, but... Clearly I must be doing something wrong there.
Because there's no way you're gonna get that open uh, like that way. Not in time. Yeah. Ahem. See, a game shouldn't demand experimentation after a long section like this. It's just, it's like, come on. Boom. Four hits. If he doesn't poke it. Frustration does not improve my accuracy, as it turns out. I should not have tried to do two episodes in a row. <laughs> I've had I've had my fill of this game, I think, for now. Well, I'll just keep trying for now, though. It's it's not that it's not fun. It's just that little things like this. It's like it suddenly sets up a little scene, and it's like it wants to be clever about it. See, I certainly don't see why we need the door to be so difficult. Alright. That's enough frustration for one day. Let's just keep moving. Can we use anything on it? This is stupid, so I'm gonna look it up. I'm sorry. Yeah. Just, uh, just looking it up real quick. Um... Let's see... Okay, I think... Uh I think I got it now. I'm s I'm sorry about the uh, the terrible performance here, guys. It's uh, I want to alt tap to see if it's still recording, but this is clearly not the time for it. I have some renewed vigor now that I have an idea of what to do. So there is like, there is a clever solution to the whole situation, but the issue is that the game does not allow you much room for doubt, because you're running away. Right, so this beam here, I need to axe it, if I can find my axe. Do I have an axe? Well then. 
I ju I'll just, I have a big axe, of course. So yeah, that's what needs to happen. I need to cave the, the, the place in, so the worm won't follow me and I can open the door without the pressure of being chased. And that's the solution. I should have thought outside the box while being chased by a giant man-eating worm. Anyway, that's enough, that's enough saltiness for now. Being a little bit too salty here. I find that uh, I find that an amusing phrase to signify irritation. Salty. Boom. Oh, uh, my brain can barely imagine the feats of action men like heroic she must be performing to save old Red. I am waiting so close now for you to blow down the walls of my earthbound prison cell and release me from this mortal coil. What, does he want me to kill him? Mortal Coil? Mortal Coil? It's a good card. Okay, let's see. I still need to rotate this thing a million times. Listen to the mouse motions going on over here. Oh, that was the slowest opening medicine cabinet I've ever seen. Magnesium, calcium, barium, chloride, phosphorus, and sodium. Do not forget, badly administered dope. <coughs> badly administered dopamine clouds frequently everything. Uh huh. Chemical. Chemical. That's very descriptive. Oh, whoops. I just went out. Oh, right. Well, that opens up a faster way in here. Into here, I should say. Pockets full of nondescript chemicals. <laughs> Action man like heroics. Red is a is a silly guy. He is a bit of a silly man. Also, he eats people apparently. Delicious beef jerky. I wonder though, am I going to fight Red? Because the idea is I'm saving him, right? But he's not exactly been normal so far. Let's see. Am I missing two chemicals? Perhaps this shoe contains a chemical. Well, the lockers... well, there we go. Flares? So many flares. 
I'm missing C. There it is. Good, good. Wait, am I? All six way to work. Oh, it ended up on the, uh, the quick select. That's probably fine. Right, so that's six chemicals. I'm going to assume the uh, this is A, this is B, this is C, etc. I think that's the uh, the way we're going to do this. There's not much else to see in this room after all, so. So. I should head back to the lab in the other direction and see what I can do with these chemicals. Right, so that uh, that starting section was a little bit awkward. Not gonna not gonna lie, I'm not too proud of myself. But now we're making steady progress again, so it should be fine. Where are you, my shiny knight? Have you really made it? Shiny knight. I wait and wait, and yet the pot never boils. I remain trapped in my den of iniquity. Perhaps the gods have toyed with me once more. Sentenced me to yet more years in this place of eternal nightlight. But now, maybe my ill advice has ended you. Have you run death's doorbell? Please don't leave poor Red all alone once more. Like all the others. No worries, Red. We're gonna we're gonna set you free. Probably. I mean, you're probably nuts, but no man deserves to die a slow death no, in an underground green a mine in Greenland. So, let's see here. Gotta have a look at the bomber's notebook. Let's see. It's it's another one of these sections where I keep looking at Okay, barium is present. Barium. Whoops. What am I doing? Red phosphorus and barium. Barium, phosphorus. So that's C and E, right? Wait, what? Right, so C and E. 
Was that not right? C and E. Poof. Apparently not. <clears throat> Is there something that I missed? Because I was pretty sure that this meant... Oh... Clever... So B-A-D-C-F-E B-A-D-C-F-E B-A-D... C F D F right 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 D F I don't actually need the fuse, do I? Not yet. Right, so now I need to escort this to the, uh, the place. Carefully. Running with explosives is my favorite thing to do. It's like running with scissors, but much, much more dangerous. Right. <laughs> Time for the wire. Time for the lighter. Time to run. Well, Red, are you uh, are you in there? Just uh let me clear my throat first. <coughs> right. I'm never going to be able to stop saying that. So, where is our good friend Red? Right, this door is different, newer than all the others. This must be where Red's been leading me all this time. Indeed, I'll just have a quick look around first though. I'm not sure if this is going to be a boss battle or something. Yeah, well, what's... I 
kind of just did that. <laughs> Sorry. Just took a quick screenshot. Brad, I'm so sorry. Whatever happened to you down here, it's over now. Yeah. <clears throat> well, if he was nuts and suffering, I guess it's for the best. Still, not, not the greatest way to go. Death by fire. Man. So what's next, then? Red's the one who's been leading me this entire time. Should I just go in here? Cut the power. Fight the power. Well, this has, uh, this, this, this turned sour fast. I was like, yay, time to meet Red. Like, is there gonna be a boss battle? But I just pushed a button and burned him. Not, uh, not the greatest, not, not exactly the conclusion I was hoping for. But at least here's a cross, that's reassuring. Does this mean I'm close to the end then? Is this... Uh... So he was in the generator. Isn't the generator now dead though? It won't turn off. Well... Can't we use the... Uh... Welp. <coughs> Clearly, I need to start thinking straight. And what is that for? <coughs> Well, I'm confused. I never did use many of my flares. <laughs> Right, so what can I interact with? I can, in fact, interact with this entire machine. B 
but not many things are actually working. Well, I can't normally interact with anything here. Can't I open it with the uh, screwdriver? Can I open any of these with the screwdriver? Nope. Oh, was this door locked? I should use the key, I guess. Red is dead. Mm -hmm. Reams of books. Where did Brad scavenge all these from? There's everything from survival manuals to the collected works of Shakespeare and Kant's ethics. If this was how he spent his time, no wonder he spoke so strangely. He must have led a lifetime of misunderstanding. My dearest friend, how are you? I am as well as can be expected. I have some sad news though. A few days ago there was some kind of collapse and some of the ceiling of the cave fell in on me. What scares me is that I was in an off-limits part of the mine. They may not look for me here, but if they do and they find me, I'll be in so much trouble. But I don't think I'll have to worry about that because I'm not sure I'll be getting out of here. I don't mind so much. I've been working in the mine for about three weeks now and I'm really proud that I can send money home. But it's really tough work and so far you're the only person that's really been nice to me. Plus I have some nice company down here. There are some friendly, kinda creepy crawlies and some books I brought from home that I was taking to the rack room. If you think about it, it w uh, I was really quite lucky. I had all this stuff with me, otherwise I'd be bored stiff. As it is, I have Shakespeare, Bront, Nietzsche. Perfect bedtime reading. Although I suppose I might be trapped here long enough that I have to read them twice. I always used to ask my mom how long people survive without food and things. I read how some people can survive on the water for over five minutes and some people last in the desert for weeks. But she always said you had three minutes of air, three days of water, etc. I suppose I'll probably find out soon enough. I guess if I had to, I could find food around the place. Like I said, there's all sorts of creatures here, but they're better off as my friends than my lunch. I wonder whether I shall starve to death or go cra cave crazy first. No, this sounds too much fun, I guess, but if I had to choose, I'd say I'd want to go mad. Well, he did. It sounds like an adventure. Tom Redwood, proper mine worker, December 1970. He's been down here, age 14. Mm. Yikes. Down here for that long, huh? Depressing. <coughs> Yikes.
So how did he get to be stuck in the machine, though? The chains on his arms are visible now. Not there out of choice. Father looks on aghast. Clutches some notes, shaking hands. He knows. He knows what has come. But the man has released. The only one who could stop it. Howard knows the real fear. Hmm. There, it's me. I'm inside that box and outside it. I don't... I can't get things straight in my head. Hmm. Slugs. Ugh. Right, so this is where we got the power. Good. Well, this is interesting. And very depressing, actually. Okay, so I cut the power, and now I should be able to do something in the room back here, right? Not sure what I'm missing here. I'm kind of tempted to just look up a guide again. Would be kind of a shame to have to go for that. But I just turned off the power, so why is it not turning off? Something I'm missing here? Can I just use the pry bar? Oh. <sighs> I'm just... <clears throat> I'm just very silly, is what I am. As I stepped into, mo into the mouth of the underground facility, there should have been questions, fear, doubts running through me. Instead, I was torn in two. Part of me, I felt, had died, along with my only ally and friend. His final words had raised more questions than they'd answered, and I couldn't get his screams for help out of my head, despite knowing deep down that the pain I had caused Red was itself all the help I could have offered him. I was alone again, but I, it, but I had nothing to do other than press on into the unknown. If I'd felt so bad about Red, I should have listened to him and stayed where I was. I would trade his fate a hundred times for my own. The other side of me was looking forward to what might await uh, in my continued journey. I felt sure that I would soon find some clue or other to my father's fate, and that he was inextricably linked to everything that was happening. I also couldn't help but suspect that everything I had seen up until that point was just symptomatic of whatever lay beyond the threshold. I know now, I was right. Welcome to the shelter, established 1973. Huh? It's an underground shelter? In the mine? Just checking how long I've recorded. Oh, another 54 minutes already. Time really does fly, especially when you get stuck at puzzles. So what's down here then? Okay. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm unsettled.
I'm actually kind of scared now. Like the rest of the game has been so tame, I'm just... That was kind of scary in comparison to everything we've seen so far. But... I should go... With that, the man who had first descended into the mine was no more. And so began my next chapter. To be continued. What? <laughs> Excuse me. You just had your scariest moment, like in the entire game. And it ended there. Well, I'm not so sure what to say about that. That was uh, Penumbra Overture, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, thanks for going with me on this journey. I hope it wasn't overly frustrating. I know I did fail several challenges a lot and, you know, there were some puzzles where I missed obvious solutions and got a bit salty of the game. I'm uh, I'm sorry about that, but yeah. I uh, I made it through at least. I'll just be I'll just shut up and let you watch the credits for now. Making games is hard work after all. Oh, what was <clears throat> was that all of it? That was all of it. Well then, um, once more, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for uh, following me while I played Penumbra Overture. It was uh, it was an interesting adventure. I definitely had fun. The atmosphere was good. Um, it wasn't really scary, to be honest. Like at the end, I actually got unnerved. That was the first time I got quite so unnerved in the whole game. But um, you know, the overall experience was fun. It's uh, it's definitely a few steps below uh, below amnesia. But that's to be expected. It's interesting to see um, what they've learned from this game and how that managed to make Amnesia such a good game. In any case, I'm just rambling, uh, so I'll just close it off here. Thank you for watching Aryan plays Penumbra Overture, and I will see you uh, next time when I play Penumbra Black Plague, I think it's called. Let me check my Steam list real quick. Yep. Penumbra Black Plague. And there is also Penumbra Requiem, so we've got some Penumbra left to do. So, thanks and see you next time. Bye-bye.